Okay, this is just a supplemental to my last video. Um, I realized when I reviewed that that I have a couple of issues going on here. Uh, one is a sound issue. I don't know how I'm going to fix that. This is a new phone, and frankly, I'm, I'm just delighted I can make more than a three-minute video. Uh, the other issue was something I did. I had taken a scabbard and thrown it in front of the uh, camera like that and obscured something I was trying to show you. Um, <laughs> incidentally, I, I remade this, and son of a bitch, I did it again. So here we are. This is going to be the third time trying to go through this process with you. And this is really couldn't be simpler. I'm not a, uh, a real technology driven person. I like the process of hands on work, which is part of the reason I don't like workshops. The other reason is that workshops are. I don't know, to me they're kind of cheating, but more importantly, I'm no good on them. I, I'm not good with power tools because I don't use power tools anymore. 25 years ago when I was building houses, I, I, I'd use anything you hand me all day long. But over the years, I've gotten away from that work and that, you know, that sort of activity. And I've really kind of grown to love things like just polishing apples and, you know, the, just simple handwork. Uh, that's the wrong hammer. I don't want that hammer. Now we're going to make do. Alright, let's not do that again. Okay. Put that all over there. So, what I'm talking about is a process of polishing your blade over time. Um, I have no proof of this, but I think it will actually make your blades last longer. It doesn't heat up the blade. It doesn't take as much material from the blade. And it does a fairly good job for what it is. Now, this is simplicity at its finest. All you need is a piece of sandpaper and something to work it on. I'm going to be taking my metal clamp, my rubber pad, Today, on this particular blade, I'm not up to the 1500 stage yet. I am still in the 800 stage, so I'll be using 800 grit sandpaper. And I'm going to just simply clamp that to my table. This sandpaper, you can get at any auto parts store. It uh, comes in uh, 800 to, I think, 2500 grit. It's wet dry. I prefer dry because I'm in my living room. Okay. Um, if you've got a workbench, you know, like in a garage or somewhere where you don't care to, if you make a mess or not, by all means, do it wet. It may work out better. I don't know. Because I haven't tried it, I do this work in my, my living room. So um, this is real simple. You're just going to find the natural blade profile of your blade. So this will actually work on any kind of blade, short or long. And you're going to find where that is, and you're just going to simply use your fingers to brace that. And you can do this in sections, or you can do the whole length of your blade. And you want to be very careful, or you're going to do what I just did and slice your finger open. So, yeah, that's fun. Um, yeah. So, we continue. Uh, as I said, and just damn it, demonstrate it. <laughs> you, you want to be very careful when you do this. And you're just going to follow your natural blade alignment. Um, So, is it sharp? Well, you know, clearly it's a little sharp anyway. This will put on a good working edge. It's not going to give you one of those stupid, scary edge sharpness things, you know, that 
where you wave your blade in the direction of paper and it rips itself apart in fear. But it will give you a pretty damn sharp blade that you can rely on. So that was what I wanted to make the supplemental on. Um, I'm going to end this here. I've got to clean this mess up again and see if this video is worth posting. Um, I might do that in reverse order just in case and maybe find a bandage for my finger. Um, one thing I will suggest you do if you try this method of owning is to always make sure you clean the dust and the sludge and the blood, especially the blood, off of your blade. Um, incidentally, from experience, I can tell you that if you do forget that step, and you go back in a day or two and you see a little blood on your blade, spit is the best way to get it off. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Um, that will work on any kind of sword. It will work on any kind of knife. Um, well, as long as it's got a straight edge. I, I don't know how well that would work on something like a scimitar. Well, a scimitar would work fine. Uh, but let's see, uh, kukris. That might be problematic. You'd probably only be able to do the, the rounded part. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a simply brilliant, easy way to do this work. And if you enjoy it, it it's pretty rewarding. Anyway, that's it. Um, I'll see you guys probably after the holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.